Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com with another full case break of 2018 Panini Donruss Optic Baseball from jazbeeshobbyland.com. We've got another pick your team available in the store. Fill up with Last Spot Mojo Tigers. And there's everybody else. So this is pick your team three. <clears throat> Excuse me, pick your team four in the store, and once pick your team four is sold out, pro that'll probably go off tomorrow. Once that one's sold out, we got a few more cases of this stuff, so we'll we'll keep posting them until we until we run out. It's e easier if I do it this way. There we go. All right, two autograph hot boxes and two uh, parallel hot boxes, ladies and gentlemen. Now, people have been saying that that these two bottom boxes are the autograph hot boxes. At least people have seen a lot of cases where these two on the right side are the autograph hot boxes. So, just for fun, we'll we'll mark them and we'll see what happens. Good luck, everybody. So, the first case I did pulled a superfractor. Second case I did, and that was earlier today, pulled a superfractor, autograph this time. First one was Cody Bellinger superfractor, no auto. And the second one was Paul Molitor superfractor with an auto. So will will my third case, will that have a one of one? I don't know, but stay tuned to find out, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, did I have them facing the other way? Oh. I had the boxes facing the other way last time, so they were actually the bottom right two if I did have them facing the same way. So you do think they're the same two every time, says Nicholas Leslie. Or shall I say Nicholas Sherlock Holmes Leslie? Or Encyclopedia Brown. Remember Encyclopedia Brown, you guys? Solve your mysteries for a quarter. It's a bargain. What a deal. All right, so when the labels are... Oh, okay, so I, I had them... Okay, so I had the hot box side looking at. So maybe... So when it's... When the, when the text says 2018 Donner's Optic Baseball, that's when it'll be those right too. All right, so let's see, see if that theory bears out. All right. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. There's Laser Show, Dustin Pedroia. So we'll just sleeve these up. We'll top load these before these ship out, but just in the interest of time. Out of 299 for the Red Sox, Nicholas Leslie. And boom! Shohei Otani rated rookie autograph. Three cases, two Otani autos. Who has the Angels in this one? Jeremy Tillman with the Angels. First box, Otani. Stuff is loaded, ladies and gentlemen. Stuff is loaded. We'll save one of these too. That's of him running. There's Cody Bellinger. Cody Bellinger is to 299. That's for the Dodgers. Matt K has my Dodgers. And speaking of the Dodgers, 32 out of 99, boom! Hot Dodger prospect, Alex Verdugo. Matt K with a little Dodger Joe Mojo coming at him. 32 out of 99, nice. So two of those SoCal teams.
Francisco Lindor, two-time All-Star. And Gary Sanchez for the Yankees out of 199. Got Mike Trout as well. These must be short prints or variations if they're turned around this way. So we'll make sure they get sleeved up, or they're going to get sleeved up now. We'll make sure they get top loaded and then get shipped out. All right, well, nice start, boys and girls. It's a nice way to start things off. Next box. G. Lo saying, you think the variations have a black baseball on the back? Aha. Uh -huh. There you go. So these were flipped around. Nice. I'll let the shipping team know too. A Matt Apple would be asking, what, how much do I think that Otani will go for? Him? Well, it wasn't numbered. So it's just a base autograph. I don't know. They see they, not not to throw any any uh, shine off of Jeremy Tillman's uh, Angels Otani. I think they're a tad bit more common in Panini products. It seems like than in Top stuff. Tops kind of short prints them a lot, so that might affect value a little bit. I don't know. Someone should look for. I mean, but that could be a different variation too, because that's not the that's not the one I pulled in the first case. Might all depend on, on what the short printedness is and what the variation is. Do the autographs have black baseballs on the back too? If they're very, no, they don't. Um, so I don't know. A couple hundred bucks, I would think, for just that base autograph. I think the one we pulled in our first case was out of thirty-five. So I think at that point. That was, people were saying that was going for like three or four hundred bucks, something like that. I don't know, something around there, a decent amount. Probably covers the spot. All right. Next box. Good luck. I like these rated prospects too. That's pretty cool. We'll save that Mound Marvels Otani. We haven't seen one of those yet. And I'm sure all, all of these will have a bit of value too, and it all adds up. There's Kershaw. Kirsch is out of 199 for the Dodgers. Then we've got Reggie Jackson. 18 out of 50 for the Oakland A's. Kip Kip Hooray. Well, Kip, weren't you looking for a Reggie Jackson autograph out of here? Maybe that's a sign of things to come. Then we've got Miguel Andujar. Nice. Wait, what happened to the slashes right there, Miguel? Rated rookie, it's still a nice autograph, but I kind of like those uh, those strike throughs that he kind of does. Yankees, Robert Throne. <sighs> and that is 25 out of 75. And behind Joe Morgan is Detroit's Franklin Perez, rated prospect auto for Phillip and the Tigres. Last spot mojo. And there's the kid, Ken Griffey Jr. Out of 149 for the Mariners. That goes to Jordan.
Another box. Gilo saying, I kind of want an uh, Otani Optic Rainbow. That would be pretty cool. I think there's a number of variations, so you'd have to pick the... You have to pick, like, which one you do. Maybe, like, Otani running or something like that. Did you know, ladies and gentlemen, Otani is, I believe, just as fast as Mike Trout going from home to first. Trivia, Otani trivia. All right, so I think I'm looking at the base set checklist. So if you you got to get the hollow... I guess bronzes are in a mega box, pinks are in black uh, blaster boxes, purples are in fat packs. But then you got red yellows, shock, white sparkles, aqua 299, orange, there's a lot. Orange 199, blue 149, red 99, Carolina blue out of 50, black 25, gold 10, cracked ice out of 7. That's only first off the line. And then green out of 5 and gold vinyl, the super factor one of one. It's a lot. It'd be a it'd be a nice chase though. All right, next box. Good luck. Andrew Benintendi. Different variation there. And there's Glaber Torres, rated prospect. Autograph. Glaber Day for Robert Throne and the Yankees. Go, Reese Lightning, go. We'll save one of these Otanis, too. Who's my PC guy? Nobody. I don't really... Uh, I see these every day. I have, I have the luxury of seeing these every day, so I don't necessarily need to... or have the need to... feel the need to collect certain guys. But I've got a smattering of, like, Dodgers, Raiders, Lakers guys kind of tucked away. Nothing really significant. There's Adrian Beltre, 3,000 hit club. Points, we'll collect those. Winner take all on the points. Nick Williams, rated rookie red, 31 out of 99. Giancarlo Stanton, 2017 MVP, and Ahmed Rosario. That is out of 299. Aqua. Wait, what was? Oh, the we had points. I was like, where's the second auto? No, yeah, Gabe's just you and me. Everyone probably did fall asleep. With the sound, with with the sound of my golden voice, Gabe, as well as the the uh, the hypnotic pattern, you know, shuffling of the of the cards. That that could lull people into a state of advanced relaxation. What's the th what what's the thing? I think some of you guys know that. What's the thing that they call when um, there's like videos on YouTube where like people in a very quiet room will like crinkle things in the microphone and stuff like that. Like what is that? And like people and like you put on headphones and you listen to that stuff, you know. And people will be like 
will like scratch the surface of, of like a table or something or or rub like wood blocks together or something like that. And apparently it's like it could be like this oral sort of therapy or it's relaxing something helps you sleep. There's a there's there's a thing for it. <laughs> Not psychosis, <laughs> Nicholas Leslie. Yeah, yeah, that's what it's called. ASMR. I don't know I don't know what that's that stands for, but you have a buddy that does it. And he has like sixty thousand subs. Man. It's a thing. Sir, literally, people will like will do that or um or like girls will get have like put like long fingernails and have them running through like their hair or something like that. it's 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 an it's an odd sort of thing. But it's it's like it's like uh it's super popular. I feel like sometimes the crackling of this is often is often like that. All right. Next box. We got Carlos Correa All Stars to two ninety nine. And there's Brandon Woodruff, rated rookie, Hollow Auto. For the Brew Crew, that goes to Robert Throne. There's Ronald Acuna Jr. Nice. 13 out of 50. That's the Carolina Blue parallel. I like that. Carolina Blue. Buster Posey Red. To 99. Did I miss an autograph or was it the Glaber Torres? Now, now I don't remember. The Glaber Torres went to Robert and so did the Brew Crew. The Brewer's autograph too. Or was that a below average box? I don't think I missed it. Uh, it happens. All right, next box. Joseph Slayton saying, "I love the sound of ripping packs. It is. It's a. It's a comforting sound." But yeah, that going back to that ASMR thing, it's really popular, and like. I, th I want to say like the people who do it, they will um, they'll get like really high grade like professional recording microphones, build out like soundproof studios so there's no like external sound because sometimes when you listen to our our studio, it's not it's not treated for sound so sometimes you can hear a lot of uh, maybe a maybe a, a little flutter little echoes in the uh, in the room, which is not which is not bad for just conversing. For a live stream, but for for ASMR, you gotta you really have to like get a soundproof studio. It's really quiet and get like this, you know, super high grade microphone and it's crazy. So yeah, but yeah, game thing. Yeah, it is a little weird. But I also thought that those noise machines that make sounds of the ocean or rain were weird, but those make sense to me. Right, I, I could wrap my head around that a little bit more easily. Right, get like some nature sounds. You know, it's relaxed, soothing. But yeah, the sound the sound of pack openings. Oh yeah, so there was only one auto in that last box. 
And that other that other one auto box had the points, so that replaces the auto, so. That's why they say on average. Maybe maybe we'll find an above average box in here. Alright. Good luck everyone. There is a uh, Hirano for the Diamondbacks that goes to Charles. This might be our parallel hot box at a 299. That's uh, Longoria Severino to 50 for the Yankees. I did Mark Bellinger. Curtis informed me of that. There's Salvador Perez to 199. Now, is it the is it the original Clone Wars team doing that? There's Miguel Cabrera to 299. Marcelo Zuna, Cardinals to 149. Miguel Cabrera, Miggy, out of 199 for the Tigers. Andrew Miller, out of one who's got Brad Hand behind him now. Josh Bell, big trade for Francisco Mejia, to, for Brad Hand, basically. Miguel Cabrera to 99 for the Tigers. There's Adam Wainwright, Wayno to 149 for the Redbirds. Barry Larkin to 299. Chris Archer to 199. Walker Bueller to 299. And the autograph is Randall Grichuk for the Toronto Blue Jays. Nice. Jeremy Tillman with the Blue Jays. And a 199, Aaron Judge for the Yankees. And Nick Williams is your other autograph. Rated rookie auto for the Phillies, Sen Yin with the Fightin' Phils. There's Judge again out of 149. Ryan McMahon for the Rockies out of 299. Longo again out of 99. Kyle Hendricks to 149. Zach Ranke for the Snakes out of 299. Charlie Blackman, Walker Bueller. Well, good. So Mark's saying for you Star Wars fans out there, Clone Wars, the animated series, coming back. Sounds like most of the same production team coming back as well. Good. Which I think was a similar team that did Rebels, Star Wars Rebels as well. I do like those animated series. I think they did a great job with those. I have mixed feelings on, on, on The Last Jedi, but those animated series were definitely great. I feel like there's a lot of Star Wars oversaturation. I actually never got around to seeing seeing Solo. I'm waiting for the Blu-ray digital video disc. But the animated series are very enter entertaining. Especially Clone Wars, because I feel like that kind of makes up for the prequel, <laughs> for the uh, for the prequels that weren't that great. All right, next box. Good luck, everyone. Gabe's PC, we were talking about this a little bit earlier, his PC is uh, Alex Gordon. Yeah, once they're like, once they're like vets. You see fewer and fewer vets doing it. So you, you start to only see those guys, like names like Alex Gordon um, in like higher end, uh, higher end sets. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, the, the the animated series definitely adds more depth to the prequel era. I I also enjoy. Um, I think um, Ahsoka Tano in the Clone Wars series. I think was also very ended up being a very popular character. So I think they want to bring bring them back. Watch this, folks. We're gonna we're gonna bring it back to baseball. Star Wars baseball. 
Ahsoka Tano in the Star Wars Clone Wars series is voiced by a woman named Ashley Eckstein, who is married to David Eckstein, baseball player David Eckstein. So every time I bring this up, I always say, "Man, that would be I would it would be fantastic." Um, it would be fantastic. Yeah, and Ashley, exactly, Mark Bellinger. Ashley Eckstein apparently is an absolute sweetheart, does a lot of press, you know, always good with the fans and all that sort of stuff. That's right. The X-Line, 2006 World Series MVP, David Eckstein. So I always say, you know what would be awesome? Um, is to, like, go to a, go to, like, uh, have dinner with Ashley Eckstein and David Eckstein. Right? So I could talk Star Wars with Ashley Eckstein and baseball with David Eckstein. Or maybe they're sick of talking about that. So maybe I'll talk about Star Wars with David Eckstein and talk about baseball with Ashley Eckstein. All right. There's Kirby Puckett. And we've got rated rookie auto Tyler Wade. But either way, I feel like it would be fun to like have dinner with those two. Hang out. And David Eckstein is also really short. I, I, you know, so I'd be like, yeah, David Eckstein, you're, you're an inspiration. An inspiration to, uh, to five, six guys everywhere. Yadier Molina out of 299. Yadier going to the Cardinals. Bellinger out of this world out of 299. Wasn't that an old TV show, Out of This World? Well, the girl puts her fingers together and stops time. Maybe it's the wrong show. And then we've got Reese Hoskins. Nice rated rookie auto. Blue, Reese Hoskins. Nice one for Sen Yin and the Fightin' Phils. And that's 34 out of 60. Nice. Got Bellinger Refractor. And there's Reese Hoskins again for Sen Yin. Out of 199. Excellent. I think that's just a regular Kirby Puckett. All right. Halfway there, folks. Six boxes left. Almost there. This break moves fast. It's an hour long, but it's one of those breaks that feel, that still feel short. Some breaks I feel every bit of that hour. But this break, a lot of parallels, a lot of autographs, a lot of, a lot of different eye candy, so it makes it nice. That Tyler Wade goes to Robert, by the way, with the Yankees. Joe Slayton saying, man, tell us about it. Joe Maurer's my PC, pretty much non-existent this year. I know. Talk to Joe Maurer. Tell him, hey, autograph more cards, dude. That's what it is. U usually the players, I think, as they get older, they're just like, yeah, I remember signing thousands of Bowman cards, thousands of cards for all these products, and they just, just kind of don't want to do it anymore. That's why it's harder to get those vet autos. Yeah, Sam, exactly. Sam's like, I got a rookie auto of, of Wayno, but I haven't seen much autos of him since. Right. And that's, uh, you know, that's all that's all down to the player. So Wayno basically is being like, eh, I don't want to do any. <laughs> These companies can ask. But... A lot of times those 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 vets will just be like, man, I don't have to do this anymore. <laughs> Alex Gordon going downhill, so maybe he needs a backup plan and sign cards. Well, he may need a. Uh, well, if if he if he manages money properly, I don't think that sh shouldn't be a problem. I don't know if he could. You no, know, he can manage. Should be able to manage. 
maintain his professional baseball player lifestyle if he's managed his money properly. Could sign some more cards. All right. Just kind of readjust myself here. Some tea. My my. Uh, I'm telling you, my, after these two nights here, folks, all these new releases, my voice is going to be wrecked come Friday or tomorrow, Saturday. Joe Morgan to 199 Another parallel hot box out of 299 Paul Blackburn. Zach Granite out of 50 50 out of 50 for the Twins. And Luke Weaver, Optic Autographs. Mothro, yeah, that's what Mark Bellinger was talking about earlier. They're actually not a new Star Wars cartoon. I think they're just bringing back Star Wars, uh, no, Star Wars Clone Wars, the animated series. Out of 99, Out of This World, Mickey Mantle, Chris Sale for the Red Sox out of 199. Lance McCullers, Aqua to 299 for the Strohs. Let's make myself a little bit of room here. Jonathan Gray, Red. For the Rockies, out of 299. Salvador Perez, out of 199. Oh, yeah, that's for you, X Line, by the way, that Luke Weaver. Odubel Herrera, Phillies, out of 299. Francisco Mejia just got traded for Brad Hand, the Padres' excellent reliever. And then there's Victor Robles, rated rookie autograph for TJ and the Nats. Nice one, TJ. 20 out of 60. Nice low number, too. I think Juan Soto stole a little bit of his thunder, but I think he, sh he should still be a star. Mike Trout to 50. Matt Carpenter for the X-Line. The Cardinals out of 299. Dominic Smith for the Mets out of 99. Ryan McMahon for the Rocks out of 149. Scott Kingery. Out of 299. Tiago Vieira. Out of 199. Daniel Murphy for TJ and the Nats. Out of 299. Miggy. Nickname. Out of 99. Longo. Evan Longoria. Out of 149 for the Giants. We got Jose Altuve. And Craig Biggio. Both of the Astros. Looking back. 60 out of 99. And there's Diamond King Sal Perez. So both of our parallel hot boxes done. And then I think the two autograph hot box. No, wait, did we already see an autograph hot box? I've lost track. So I'm hopefully someone else is keeping track. Right, Kip saying they're doing 12 episodes to properly close it out because Stupid Disney just cut it off abruptly. Guess they figured that was dumb. I agree, Kip. They did they did abruptly end it. And then the same crew. I think most of the similar crew started doing Star Wars Rebels and they try to close off some of those storylines out of Star Wars Clone Wars, but I'm glad that they're they're able to finish it off. Okay, so Nicholas Leslie keeping track. You have not seen the auto hotbox yet, so maybe it's those two right there. All right, so once again, these obviously all of these will be top-loaded before they get shipped off to you. Oh, they might bring Rebels back too? Oh, I see. The Hunt for Ezra. Um, hmm. They should... Uh, I wonder if they should... Um, I wonder if they should explore more of that crew's involvement with the the tie-in Rogue One more. That's basically what I'm getting to. Yes, sir. I, I believe the Robles was out of... Actually, it's right here in front of me. Blue Robles, 20 out of 60. All right, next box. 
I see a lot of orders coming in, so people still want to keep things going. Someone was saying earlier, I think it was Dylan maybe, that Spectra Basketball is... Uh, Spectra Basketball is closed out. So there's the schedule right there, except I think Spectra Basketball is right there. I guess everyone died, but I don't know. I mean, I guess. But is there, there's still time in between... No, there isn't. It goes right into New Hope. Okay. Everyone's dead. Reminds me of that that t-shirt or that magnet or whatever. Or that lonely dinosaur saying all my friends are dead. Folks, if you're Star Wars Rebels fans, the animated series, the um, one of the one of the villains is voiced by Sarah Michelle Gellar. One of the main characters in that show, voiced by Freddie Prince Jr. They're married. Freddie Prince Jr. often fills in for uh, on the afternoon drive time show. On KSPN LA, 710. Sports talk. That's how I tie it back into sports. Manny Machado, new Dodger, excited. Amon Rosario, Met, goes to Karen. TC, comment on what? Right, Gilo, the '90s powerhouse couple, still still coupled, which is great. Good for them. Mickey Mantle, out of 199. Carlos Martin. Are they still together? Courtney Cox and David Arquette? Reggie Jackson, red for Kip, out of 99. He's looking for that auto. Chris flexing them muscles. Another one for the Mets. That'll go to Karen. Oh, for TJ. Okay. He might have missed that comment. Um, Mothro. So the Rebels characters are dead. We we don't we don't see him elsewhere, right? There's Cody Bellinger out of 199. Now, the Rogue One character is definitely dead. The Rebels characters, you never know. Oh, they divorced in 2013. That's a long time. That's a long time. Yeah, you're right, Kip. No one knows what happened to Soka Tano. Although a lot of people believe that she just she just kind of sat out the uh, you know like all the Jedi went uh, went into hiding, right? So I think she just kind of went into hiding. Maybe she comes back in Episode Nine as a surprise. That would be cool. I mean, I feel like, I don't know, Last Jedi had so many mixed reactions. And, and I think so much of that Star Wars aesthetic was not really present in The Last Jedi that maybe, maybe they can bring, maybe they can kind of lift up the final episode, episode 9, with that. 
I think Lando Calrissian is supposed to be right. I think Billy D. Williams is going to be in, in on uh, in on that. Right, Gray Jedi, which I like. I thought they were going to explore that more in the Last Jedi. Kip, I don't even want to get into it. Like one day, Kip, we'll have a we'll have a beer or two, and then we'll, I'll I'll vent about stuff. Or maybe after this break. Nicholas Leslie, I wish there was a little bit of Johnny Walker Blue in here. Unfortunately not. It's just a English breakfast tea and a large dollop of honey for the voice. I guess the, the scotch could help too. Whoa! We were just talking about him. Signature Series, Alex Gordon for the Royals. Gabe! This is his PC. Alex Gordon... For Gabe, Gilo, and the Royals, his PC. Jaspie's Hobbyland, where magic happens. Ladies and gentlemen, look at that. That's pretty cool. That makes me happy. All right, there's Shohei Otani in orange. <laughs> yeah, Rian Johnson did destroy Star Wars and Wonder. Help me, J.J. Abrams. You're my only hope to save the save the franchise. There's Dodgers Kyle Farmer, rated rookie autograph. Pretty solid player for Matt K. Not numbered. No reaction from Gabe? He's, he's either lagging behind or he fell out of his chair. Uh, I think we have not, TJ. I think these, these two might be it, the ones we've marked right here. Which everyone seems to say so it's the same two boxes in every case. There's Altuve to one forty nine. That is that. Rumors say that Star Wars Episode Nine will be two movies to fix the Rian Johnson mess. God, I hope so. Oh, he did react. He just didn't have to have time to, to type it. He reacted with a long woo. There you go. For the PC. I like that, Gabe. You know, sometimes we all get caught up with like, oh, let's get the big hit that we can resell for a lot of money. I understand that that's, 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 a, that's a new part of the hobby too. You know, it's, it's part of the fun, the thrill of the chase. But, but, all, but you know, being able to get one's PC... Uh, it makes me especially happy because I'm just like, oh, yeah, I know it's going for – it's going to be in the collection. You know, you're going to appreciate it, you know, for for more of its collecting sentimental value. I know resale value is important too, but so sentimental value. Oh, did I miss? I didn't even see it. Why did I miss that chat? That's kind of weird. I'm using live chat. No, the the last chat I got from you was was at too much going on in the last Jedi for me, and then nothing. I thought you I thought you had fell out of your chair. You're just too happy. Well, I believe you, Gilo. Congrats, man. I knew, wait, Nicholas Leslie doesn't see a woo either. By the way, I'd be okay if that Star Wars Episode Nine was split up into two to kind of recorrect the story a little bit. It's not a banned word. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Hey, 
Adam saying there's Ray. That's Adam. Joe, I went to a minor league, went to a minor a minor league baseball game today. You struggled to stay. Why? The the quality of that minor league team was not good. All right, third to last box. Good luck, everybody. Oh. Whoa. Wow. Jordan Hope. Ken Griffey Jr. Green. Three out of five. Ooh. I see G Lo saying, wow, there. On card auto. What a beautiful autograph. He's got he's got a lot of, a lot of space, a lot of canvas to work with right here. Three out of five. Out of five. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. That is strong. I haven't pulled a Super Fractor yet. I'm two for two on Super Fractor. We're going to see what happens in this case, but that, that'll, that'll still make up for it. The Mick out of 99 for the Yankees. Is Jordan here? Maybe he's not. He was here earlier. If he comes back, we should just be like, he's like, oh, hey, did the Mariners hit? And be like, nah. <laughs> and then wait for him to get in the mail. Andrew McCutcheon to 299 or make him watch the entire video. Like, maybe. You got to watch that hour-long video. Might be worth it. We got Chance Cisco. <laughs> That's one way around the licensing issue. Just have him have the mask in front of him. Orioles, that goes to Anthony Frank with the O's. And that Ryan Braun should be out of 25. Three out of 25. For the Brew Crew, that'll be for Robert Throne. And two boxes to go, which should be the autograph hot boxes. Dustin asking, what's breaking next? I believe Spectra filled up. So Spectra Basketball Pick Your Team will be going off next. And then after that, I believe maybe Allen and Ginter pick your team might be going off after that. Ginter's at two. Yeah, Spectra Basketball's at zero. So once we do, because I'm sure that uh, Allen and Ginter will go off tonight. Spectra basketball should take about half an hour or so. Uh, the Allen and Ginter will take about an hour. And that'll probably bring us to about the last hour of the broadcast. And then I'm sure we can wrap up the evening with a couple, uh, maybe a couple hockey breaks, maybe a couple valiant football breaks, stuff like that. And that should ease us right into the end of the night.
Sam's saying it's crazy how Alan Ginter isn't filling up more quickly because the prices aren't as high as Optic. I don't know. Sam Roll, maybe maybe too many high rollers, Sam. Well, the high rollers only just only want the big teams, I guess. We need more regular rollers. Nice Aussie Albius for the ATL. That's out of 199. And there's Chris flexing his muscles for Karen and the Mets. 34 out of 50. Autograph one. Of four, I think. There's Yachty out of 50. Nice one for the X line and the Cardinals. There's Paul Blackburn for the Oakland A's. Paul Blackburn Rovers going to Kip, Kip, hooray. There you go, Kip, on the board with an auto. There's Bregman to 25. That goes to the Strohs. That'll be for Adam Wilson. 23 out of 25. We've got Dustin Fowler. Another Oakland A for Kip. Kip, Kip, hooray. And we have Zach, not marble, but Zach Granite. Minnesota Twins, that'll be for Chris Parent. Chris Parent on the board. Is there one more? Oh, there is. And it's Red Turn 2. Signature Series, Justin Turner. Well, Dodger Joe Mojo going out to Matthew K. I don't see a lot of Justin Turner autographs out there. Nice signature series blue. There it is, 21 out of 50. I like it when the parallel matches the color of the team. That's pretty strong right there. And there you have it. Last box coming up. And this last one should also be an autograph hot box. And we'll do a randomizer for that. Good luck, everybody. We made it. Right on time, too. I thought all that Star Wars chit-chat might have might have lengthened this break out, but no, we're only at the 53-minute mark, 54-minute mark. So this will be over in just a few. Thanks for hanging, everybody. Appreciate it. Always nice to have company during these hour-long breaks. Kip still needs that. Oh, you were looking for Ricky Henderson, right? I thought it was Reggie Jackson, but Ricky Henderson, the Man of Steel. What's 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 Ricky Henderson doing these days? Wonder what he's doing. Though with the way baseball has turned, you know, just more to launch angles and home runs and whatnot. Oh, Jordan just saw that Ken Griffey Jr. Here it is again, Jordan. Three out of five. We were going to make you wait. We were going to make you watch the video. We were going to be like, you know, you would come in. You'd be like, hey, uh, anything hit for the Mariners? And I'd be like, watch the video, bro. Make you watch the video. It'd be worth it, though. Oh, uh, Ricky Anderson's not selling cars. Kip, Kip, hooray. Oh, R R Ricky. 
Ricky is definitely... I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> Maybe he is selling cars. <laughs> Bo Jackson and Frank Thomas, they're... They've got, they've got, you know, man supplements. Oh, Dylan says, oh, so Ricky still lives in, still lives in, uh, Northern California. Dylan says he walks around A's games and flirts with all the, all the moms all the time. There's Austin Hayes for the O's. Anthony Frank with another one. There needs to be some sort of is there is there a good there needs to be a good Ricky Henderson biography. I'd read that book. There's Richard Urena for the Blue Jays. That goes to Jeremy Tillman. Like I need him to 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 confirm or debunk some of the lead some of the Ricky Henderson legends. Maybe make up some new ones while we're at it. There's Roger Clemens, Chris Sale, both for the Red Sox out of 149. And then we have JD Davis, rated rookie hollow, going to Adam Wilson. Hollow! We got Willie McGee. Remember Willie McGee? X-Line? The X-Line with the Cardinals. Optic autographs. Old Willie McGee. Out of 50, we got Mitch Garver for the Twins. That'll be for Chris Parent. Oh, is that right? I'm missing that dude in his PC. Look at this. Helping, uh, helping G-Lo and the X-Line add stuff to their PC. I love it. Makes me happy. Thanks, guys. All right. Last little bit here. Reese Lightning. Eddie Matthews. That's green. That's a train whistle. Three out of five. Milwaukee Braves, Jeremy Tillman. Very nice. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Nonstop action in this optic. Nick Senzel rated prospect for the Car uh, Cardinals, for the Red Legs out of 149. That goes to Eric Leal. And there you have it, boys and girls. Constellation Prize, 250 points coming up. So nice hits in this break. Let's go to random.org. Let's get some dice. Let's get a list. Let's get everyone's names from Charles down to TJ. And the name on top after eight times will get the points. Five and a three. One, two, three, four, five, and a three. Six, seven, and eighth and final time. Name on top is Gabe. There you go, Gabe. Added to your PC, and you got 250 points added to your collection as well. So there you go, folks. We've got more Optic on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Check it out, and we'll see you for the next break. Bye-bye.